Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man Remastered. <laughs> uh, so yeah, last time out we found out about um, this Dr. Michaels and where he's uh, basically he's being kept under lock and key by Sable, and he's the next guy that um, that uh, Martin Lee is after uh, because he constantly hey, has this sorry, uh, the Morning, devil's breath on him. Leaving. But before we go off to check to see what he's doing, you do the next, um, you know, to do that next story segment. Try to get it under three milliseconds. <clears throat> Instead, what we're doing is we're heading back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the lab, and we're going to be doing some work for Doctor Octavius today. So yeah, we've got to do some more puzzles. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Uh, I think we've got like two or three to do here. Uh, this first one is quite easy. Uh, so, yeah, this one is... Yeah, so you need to rotate it. Get that to plus. There we go. And then you need to start using all these turns. And then we need more. Yeah, this is me being a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of... Uh, it can only go one way, so we need uh, more turns. You put that there. Another turn. There we go. And one more. And boom. Nice and easy. <coughs> Sorry about nice. that. Okay. Yeah, really Next. not hard to do. So we got it down to 4.9 milliseconds. Uh, so yeah, so zoom on with the calibration this time. And this one, uh, yeah, this one is a little bit more complicated. So yeah, we need to turn that. And that's going to have to go through here. So that means we need to get that through. Turn it here and turn this to minus two. There you go. Turn it. Straight one. And then another turn. Boom. Nice and easy. <coughs> Finished. Sorry about that. Now 3.6 milliseconds. Almost done. One more to do. Signal to noise is out of whack. Neural this chip. Okay. Processor should reduce lag. Yeah, this one is a lot more complicated. So we need to get it up to five. <laughs> yeah, this is me just being like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of a bunch here and just let's add that in. All right, we need one more. So let's turn this. Uh, yeah, another minus two. And boom, nice and easy. <clears throat> That one took me a really long fucking time to get sorted. But we're all done now. And boom, the headset is now fully completed. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. The headset is now Good complete. Work, Down to test it. Stick it on his head. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> Peter's like, uh, just to be safe. <laughs> and the dot looks at him like, ye of little faith. <clears throat> My apologies. Okay, let's test it out. You. Yeah. I actually kind of like this scene. It's yes. a kind of a, a nice, um, you know, it's kind of a nice, fun little scene where they keep adding more kind of balls into the into the mix. <coughs> my apologies. Oh, my throat! What's going on? And he just keeps grabbing more of them. It's just like I don't think this is physically possible, <laughs> to be honest. But it is kind of a cool little spectacle. 
I guess it would technically be possible if, you know, you could get the reaction times quickly enough. So maybe with a, you know, with robot hands you could do it. I don't know. But there you go. that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Oh. Do you need some help? Yeah. Yes. He's still struggling. Can't reach up to take the thing off. To disconnect it. Seems to be having issues taking it off and disconnecting. I wonder what's going on there. Doctor, what's going on? <laughs> it's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neuro. Yeah, so this is basically the confirmation where Probably Otto comes out and basically says what's going on reckless. with uh, straight out to Sorry, Peter. Is, is there anything I can do? That you already he's are. got a degenerative <laughs> disease which is basically oh, going to affect going to affect his muscles and eventually it's going to basically lead to, leave him confined no to a wheelchair, basically unable to move a single muscle Give in his body. Um, I'd like to keep it that way. So it's, of course. you know, so it kind of explains uh, why he's so, uh, like to seek a position with more, you know, why he's so uh, desperate to get this stuff, hey, to get this thing sorted out and, what you've got up here. you know, as quickly as possible it's because it's, anywhere. you know, as much a personal uh, thing as it is a, a, a need, a want for him to kind of make the world a better place. So, yeah. And I kind of, you know, I just really like this moment here of a bit of a bonding moment between him and Peter. Oh, Peter, before I forget, uh, you know, and Peter, you know, promising he's not going to say anything. Next steps for the neural uh, I'll take a look. Kind of both Thanks got time. secrets uh, to keep uh, for each other now, which is kind of interesting. But we've got to go into is study first. Man, I remember the first day I directed right, here we go. with the basal ganglia. Risk rewards of basal ganglion stimulation. Okay. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risk. We'll work them out in time. Yeah, again, I kind of like the fact that he's kind Doc's of a bit really more... Sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his um, You know, he's a bit more um, upbeat careful. about everything now, Doc. Your cranial implant could make things even worse. Which, by the way, is a good thing that he basically um, <laughs> told Peter about this now, because he's uh, <laughs> kind of giving the game away here. Carbon fiber shell. I've seen those in a comic somewhere. Uh, anyway, <laughs> time to move on. Yeah, so there's a few things you can look at in here to get get an idea um we've also got a he's seen my twitch noticed the decay of my fine motor control yeah so i got yeah again this is a nice little thing to have here um we get to hear otto's thoughts on everything and how he's kind of realizing that peter uh, is kind of cottoning on that something's wrong save millions of lives it can also save my own yeah, and again, like I said, it's that's why it's such a big deal for him to kind of get this sorted and get this working as quickly as possible because it's as much a personal thing as it is a, um, <clears throat> as it is a you know a, a thing to want to improve the lives of uh, of millions of people as well. So, so anyway, I'll be back in a few hours. We're done here, so now we've got to head and help out Aunt May at a at a. The place. I can't remember what it's called. What was the name of the place? I can't fucking remember. Um, place that Martin Lee owns. Whatever. Hi, <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. Down to head off. All units. That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker, it's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker. Yeah, so I'm trying to. Uh, I don't to want to go there, there because I that is where plot you. is going to happen. This uh, conversation is going to be cut off. <laughs> more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Amy know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Yeah, again, I kind of like that as a scene as well. 
it's kind of nice to see that he's trying to help Miles out after, you know, he's gone through a similar thing that, you know, Peter went through with Uncle Ben and all that. Oh, he's getting his shit wrecked by a couple of douchebags. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. Guys to rob a teenager? Jesus, where do these three guys come from? I thought there was only two. Alright, whatever. Whoa. Yeah, time to... Time to beat you up. <laughs> oh. And done. Nice and easy. You hurt? Yeah, it's kind of those extra bunch of guys kind of popped out, popped up out of nowhere there, but whatever. You're Spider-Man. You're the <laughs> Spider-Man. I get those I references. Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. I kind of <laughs> like that reference there as well, where he's kind of like, and a couple of choice expletives from uh, Jameson as well. <laughs> so I kind of like that little little jab. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, <laughs> you gotta be quicker. Again, I kind of... This yeah. is kind of a nice exchange as well. It's kind of cool to see kind of Miles as kind of like sorry, a... I just can't do what you do. <clears throat> sorry, it's kind of right, nice to see Miles as kind of like a... Yeah, come on. Spider-Man fanboy. <laughs> it's kind of cool. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent, let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening, boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it, okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock, okay? I can it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I kinda like that as well, he's like, oh shit, that no, actually hurt. No. <laughs> no. It's all good. That was actually a good punch. <laughs> you keep that up and, uh, You'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey. Uh. Thanks. You know. Anytime. Again, it's kind of a nice scene between him and Miles. It's not something good. <laughs> and you know, Peter did say he would help him out on his first day. Fuck you and your coffee. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> kind of like this. I kind of geeks out to his mate as well. But um, so yeah, with this, this is our first of the. Uh, no, sorry, this is our second. This is our second Miles Morales section. And again, it's in all honesty. In all honesty, it's kind of similar to um You're kidding me. It's gonna take forever. It's kind of similar to the um to the I keep wanting to say Lois. The Mary Chain sections. Wow. That was too easy. Right, where uh you know it's basically stealth sections using uh technology. But um something which is kinda nice is that um yeah, I'm trying to work out where the fuck am I going. Shit, that's not going to work. Come on, Tom, you can do it. There you go. God, these guys have no peripheral vision. They're not quite as bad as the uh, Genome Soldiers from Metal Gear Solid, but they're not far off. Fuck you. And away we go. Yeah, so Miles' uh, sections, um, it's basically the same thing, I suppose, but um, Miles has this kind of uh, technology that you can use to basically uh, activate these things from a further distance away. Uh, so you can make it more, you know, so you can just home in on that, and boom. Tom, run, there you go. Set that off. Ignore me. I'm invisible. 
Uh, if only I could, and if only you could be invisible, Miles. Like that would ever happen. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay. And we're through. Nice and easy. That was intense. Yeah, a bit oh. of a risk hey, just to uh, Hi, just to uh, speed up the journey uh, to yeah, feast. That's the name of it. Fucking hell. Well, I didn't remember don't that, but whatever. Adventure, you know. Moving on. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, <laughs> it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. And this is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. Damn it, I can't get in the door because I'm on the phone. <laughs> okay. Fuck. I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Yeah, this is something which doesn't... Um, um, yeah, this is something which isn't... The the stuff with Miles isn't really a thing. Too much here, I, 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 from what I remember. Um, it's more something that's kind of explored a bit more in the standalone Miles Morales... The Miles Morales kind of standalone game, rather than in here, cool? basically. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite much. <laughs> you sure? I also kind of like I kind of like Peter and Miles's relationship. Like Peter's kind of like the coffee. Thanks. Like Peter's kind of like the <laughs> the know. lame uncle. Kind of you know thing. What the hell the is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons. Subatomic. This is to sh this to show that Miles is actually super smart. <laughs> oh, hell, damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got time. Get it going. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working, buddy. Or could be a loose coax cable. <laughs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? Yeah, I do like this as well, how he kind of, it kind of shows, um, you know, for later we kind of see he's a bit more of a, a bit of a technical whiz. So I kind of like that. Hey, that's a bit insensitive, buddy. He's going to be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Again, I kind of like this moment. This is kind of a cool uh, moment from Peter and... Listen, yeah. Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. I love the acting there as well. It's so good. But anyway. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but... Uh, Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Yeah, I really love the budding relationship that you have between Peter and Miles in this game. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this part. Join me next time for the next part of Spider-Man Remastered when we're going to be continuing on, continuing on with the next part of the story um, and we're going to be seeing uh, if we can find the... Uh, the Doctor who has the uh, Devil's Breath and see if we can make sure he's all right. So yeah, see you next time.